Welcome to my YouTube channel Medical Knowledge where learning medicine makes sense. In this video I will discuss about the use of antenatal corticosteroid in preterm labor. Corticosteroids is indicated in a pregnant lady at 24 to 34 weeks of gestation and who is in true preterm labor. Or when a lady at 24 to 34 weeks of gestation has a condition that lead to imminent delivery such as antepartum hemorrhage in case of placenta previa, abruptio placenta or basa previa, in case of preterm premature rupture of membrane or in case of severe preeclampsia or when a lady at 24 to 34 weeks of gestation has a risk of delivery within the next 7 days then antenatal corticosteroids should be administered. Recent studies have shown that it is beneficial for late preterm delivery as well, which is 35 to 36 weeks of gestation. The antenatal corticosteroid accelerates the development of type 1 pneumocyte which help in gas exchange and type 2 pneumocyte which produces surfactant. This leads to structural and biochemical changes that improve both lung mechanics, maximum lung volume, compliance and gas exchange. Induction of type 2 pneumocyte increases surfactant production by inducing production of surfactant protein and enzyme necessary for phospholipid synthesis. Corticosteroid induces the pulmonary beta receptor which play a role in surfactant release and absorption of alveolar fluid. They induce the fetal lung antioxidant enzyme and helps to upregulate the gene expression of the epithelial sodium channel which is important for absorption of lung fluid after birth. Any of the two regimens can be used. Injection dexamethasone 6 mg is administered intramuscularly every 12 hourly in 4 doses or injection betamethasone 12 mg can be administered intramuscularly every 24 hour in 2 doses. When a delivery happens after 24 hours and up to 7 days of the last dose, then there is a maximum benefit. Whereas, if the delivery happens before 24 hours or after 7 days of the last dose, then there is partial benefit of antenatal corticosteroids. Antenatal corticosteroid administration helps to reduce the risk of respiratory distress syndrome. They also help to reduce incidence of necrotizing enterocolitis. The rate of intraventricular hemorrhage is also reduced and there is reduced chance of persistent ductus arteriosus as well as systemic infection and there is shortened hospital stay. The contraindication to the use of antenatal corticosteroid include chorioamnionitis which is defined by maternal fever and lower abdominal pain. There is fall smelling vaginal discharge maternal tachycardia and uterine tenderness, and fetal tachycardia. Although use of antenatal corticosteroid is contraindicated in chorioamnionitis, corticosteroid itself does not increase the risk of maternal infection. Thank you for watching this video. This video is made possible by the help of Dr. Deepak Fordel, MD Pediatrics. If you like this video, then please do subscribe to the channel.